Magic exists in most societies in one way or another. I do make up things that didn't exist before by naming them. I call it Earthsea, and there it is. I don't think Harry Potter could have existed without Earthsea. I read A Wizard of Earthsea and things rearranged in my head. That was the original and the best. People always say, when did you decide you wanted to be a writer? And I never wanted to be a writer. I just wrote. What Ursula was having to navigate was the societal prejudices against science fiction, against the fantastic. I'd like this not to be resigned, but to be rebellious. I want to see science fiction step over the old walls and head right into the next wall and start to break it down, too. When I started writing, the sort of basic assumption about fiction was that men were at the center of it. You have this really pretty masculine, pretty male-dominated world. I don't know how many times I was told I write well, but we don't know quite what you're doing. Ursula doesn't set herself up as a giver of answers, but she is one of the very finest explorers of questions. She really began to own herself as someone who has a voice and the authority that goes with that voice and the right to use it. Of course I can write novels with one hand and bring up three kids with the other. Yeah, sure, watch me. So what's happened most recently is the broadening of Le Guin's audience and readership. She's being recognized not just as one of our great science fiction and fantasy writers, but one of our great American writers. It's certainly a remarkable writer who can meet you when you're 10 years old and give you something wonderful to read and still be there for you when you're 45 years old and everywhere in between. To learn to make something well can take your whole life and it's worth it.